You know, as a good rule of thumb, anytime you see me post a animated background tutorial, that probably means I'm on vacation and needed to put something together really quick. But that doesn't mean this tutorial isn't gonna be good, it's gonna be awesome, because animated backgrounds really polish off your motion graphics and make them look well-rounded and professional because most people will just do their motion graphics and not do anything for the background. They'll add a solid background and that's that. That's not good enough. If you really wanna stand out, you're gonna to have to put something together for your background. So we're gonna talk about several different animated background ideas right here. All right, so for this one, we're gonna create a repeated animated background that can go on forever. You can use any shape that you want and it looks really awesome. So what first thing we're gonna do is go to layer, new, solid, any color will do, click okay. Then you're gonna do yourself a favor, go to effect, generate gradient ramp because we wanna create a very smooth gradient. So go ahead and select two variations of the same color. And when you have your smooth gradient here, what you're gonna do is take your layer, go to layer pre-compose. And, and now when you have your smooth color gradient here, you're gonna hit SR and keyboard for scale, add a keyframe for that, break the chain, move that keyframe forward by a second, and set the X scale to 0%. Now with your scale animation ready to go, you're gonna take your layer, go to layer pre-compose and call it shape one. Move all attributes, click OK. Now what we're gonna do is hit Astro on keyboard again for scale and scale this layer down. I'm gonna bring this down to 20% and I'm gonna just move this randomly around my composition. It could be out of bounds. What I'm gonna do here is take my shape, duplicate it. You can go to edit, duplicate for that shortcut. And then we're just gonna offset this randomly in our comp, but I'm gonna create somewhat of a nice line gap between each variation that we create. So here we just wanna create several different variations, probably up to 15 to 20 different layers. We can also duplicate and rotate this by 90 degrees by hitting R on keyboard. And we can start kind of creating a design uh, in this composition. But the goal is to design something random enough to have this many variations in a random order like this. Go ahead and create any random design that you want. So now that you have all your shapes ready to go, what you're gonna do is you're gonna select them, pre-compose them, call it all shapes. And quickly, we'll go ahead and create a new background design. And what we'll do is kind of select that darker color of the background right there and click OK and bring it underneath and that'll be our background. So even though this looks pretty bad, we're almost done with this. So let's go to Effect, Perspective, and we're going to grab a quick drop shadow. We'll select our shadow color and set it to a blue color, kind of like so, kind of a darker blue here. And we'll come here to Softness and set this up to 900. So now what we want to do is take our all shapes, hit R and keyboard for rotation, and we'll set this to 45 degrees. Now we'll come here to effect, stylize, and we'll grab a motion tile, bring this effect above the drop shadow. Come here and we'll increase the output height by a little bit and also the width. What we're gonna do is come here to begin for timeline, add a keyframe for tile center, move forward to maybe 10 seconds or however long you want this to be. And we'll come here and increase the X or Y value of the motion tile effect. And quickly, just to make this stand out a little bit more, we'll go to layer, new adjustment layer and go to effect, stylize and add a quick CC vignette to this. And once all said and done, you can have a background animation like this for whatever title or graphic that you need it for. Before we move on, if you're looking to create awesome motion graphics that stand out within a click of a button, check out our 200 plus Go Pack for After Effects and Premiere Pro. With our easy to use Atom X extension, all you have to do is find a graphic that you like and hit apply. Once it's on the timeline, you can easily customize colors, update text if you're using a title template and other parameters specific to that template. You can check out the Go Pack and all of our other packs off our website, sunduckfilm.com. The link will be in the description below. All right, this background animation is all about simplicity. We're using a very light color palette, but everything here blends together. We're gonna use some shapes here. Of course, just add a little pop to a title. All right, the first thing we want to do is come here to the top, grab the ellipse tool and just draw out a perfect circle. Hold down shift on your keyboard. All right, and you control double click that pan behind tool so that anchor points in the center. When you have your circle in here, pre-compose it. You can just call it circle if you like and click OK. Now we'll go back into that composition and we'll turn on transparency and we'll come here to effect, generate and we'll grab a four color gradient. Very quickly, we're going to set all these colors to white because we're creating a white color palette. Uh, also, you could do the inverse of black if you wanted to, which might look really nice. Um, but we'll go ahead and select one of these colors. We'll do like a light gray here. And we're simply just gonna bring this forward here and kind of pin in the white corners here. You can see these anchor points. All right, and when you're happy with your gradient, what you can do is all click the stopwatch for position and just type in wiggle, open parenthesis, 0.5 comma 100. I want to go higher than 100. Um, but this will add a very quick or subtle uh, movement to your circle. Now back in our other composition, what we're gonna do 
is hit S rank keyboard for scale and we'll go ahead and scale this up and we'll bring this down here to the corner, you know, like that. Perfect. Then we'll go ahead and duplicate this one time and bring the scale back down and maybe put this over here. We want to just have a smaller circle that can overlap on our bigger circle. Now, this is hard to see everything. Even if we throw like a title on it, you know, it's just kind of in there. So to help create some subtle depth, we need to set up these circles for a drop shadow. But I mean a good subtle drop shadow. So we'll do with our top circle, we'll go to effect, perspective, and we'll grab a drop shadow. We'll angle that direction, you know, to be right over the circle underneath. And we'll come here to the softness. We'll go ahead and increase this by a little bit um, and just keep it subtle. Then we can take our drop shadow, duplicate it, increase the softness by further. And we'll do one more duplicate of the drop shadow and just really feather that out or create, increase that softness. All right, so feel free to copy my settings exactly how I have it, but this looks terrible. I only want the drop shadow to be applied to the circle underneath. So to do that, it's really easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our big and small circle, we'll duplicate them like this. So what we'll do is we'll bring our big circle up one. So we'll have small circle, big circle, small circle, big circle, kind of like that. And we'll take our top small circle, we'll delete the drop shadows here, we don't need them. Then what we'll do is come here to our middle small circle here, and we'll come here to the track mat and set this to alpha mat. So now that shadow is only going to be applied to that bottom circle. And now if you add a CC vignette like we did in the previous example on adjustment layer, you're going to have a really subtle background like so. All right, we're going to finish off our tutorial with this circle dot background that's repeated. It's really cool. So first thing we'll do in our tutorial composition is we'll come here and grab a lips tool. You can set your fill to any color you want and we'll just draw a very small circle like that. And now if you're circling here, we'll go to shape layer one. Go to the add and we'll add a quick repeater to this. We'll open repeater one. We'll come in to transform repeater one and we can increase the X value here so that we'll have more space there. And we'll increase the number of copies to go across. Very simple. Then what we're gonna do is simply create another repeater. Go to transform repeater two. Set the X position to zero and bring down the Y value like so kind of keep that in a square format and increase the number of copies to go downward. Okay, so when we're done with the circles, we'll pre-compose our layer and we'll call it dots. So with our dots layer here, we'll turn this into a 3D layer and we'll hit R and keyboard of rotation. We'll come into Y rotation and set this to 90 degrees. And we can also bring up the position and just move this over like so. What we need to do here is go to effect, stylize. We'll grab motion tile, which is a very essential effect for backgrounds because you can increase the output width and also the height and you know that looks good and then we'll add a keyframe for the tile center and we'll move forward say we want this to be 10 seconds long no problem and we'll go ahead and increase the x value of this animation all right and then we'll take this further and we'll go to effect distort and we're gonna grab a optics compensation and we'll go ahead and increase the field of view here and instead of this being directly at a 90 degree angle we can kind of maybe go a little bit higher than 90 degrees to 96 ish degrees and then what we're going to do is take our dots here, duplicate it, and we'll come here to layer, transform, and we'll grab a flip horizontal. And we'll just position this to the other side of our composition. And then for our duplicated layer, we'll hit S on keyboard for scale and make sure that we break the chain and make sure we have this at negative 100 and negative 100 X and Y like that. So feel free to add a quick background to this. And we can also create an adjustment layer and we'll quickly go to effect, uh, blur and sharpen, grab a quick uh, camera lens blur and we'll go ahead and increase this up by a little bit and we'll grab the rectangle tool and we can kind of just create this rectangle blur right here in the center and we'll hit F on keyboard for mass feather and feather this out and then we'll create one more adjustment layer and we'll come here to effect stylize and we'll grab glow and we'll duplicate the glow effect and increase the glow radius up to about 40 ish and as a side note I set the blur radius back to 10 on the camera lens blur so when it's all said and done, you can add a little bit of rotation to this and you can have a really cool dotted background like so. So now take these animated background techniques, go out in the world and make your parents proud. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week. Pretty much can guarantee that. You can hit us up on our Instagram. That link is below. And always be creating.